My name is Keith Cambrin. I'm an amateur radio operator. My call sign is Kilo Charlie One Alpha Tango Tango. In this video, I'm going to show one more aspect of my website, radiocheck.us, and that is how to map QSOs or contacts with other amateur radio operators. This is the home page, which I've described in a previous video on how that works. Today, we're going to look at QSO mapping, and that can be accessed via the rightmost top tab labeled QSO Maps. So if I click on that, the QSO Maps page comes up, and we see a map of the North America in this case. We can still access any other pages on the website via these tabs, but right now we're going to talk about QSO mapping. There's a brief introduction to QSO mapping. To use QSO mapping, you're going to need an ADIF file of your QSOs. Now, you shortwave listeners out there probably will not have log files, but amateur operators almost always have log files and virtually every piece of software that acts as a logbook is capable of exporting the file to an amateur digital information format file. There's another file type called Cabrillo, but that will not work with this site. Uh, this is strictly for ADIF. You can also get an ADIF download from websites like QRZ and Logbook of the World if you happen to use web-based logging. So with that, the first thing you may want to do is enter your own grid. And this is called a maiden head grid square. And it's either a four, six, or eight digit descriptor. In my case, I've put in the full eight digit descriptor. And if you hit go, that'll position your QTH on the map. I'm in Georgetown, Texas, and that's where that QTH is with this grid square. It's not necessary, but it makes the map a little nicer. So the next thing we're going to do is choose our ADIF file, and I've prepared one. These are taken from my Ham Radio Deluxe logbook in June of 2019. So I'll select that and hit open. And when I do that, the file loads, and we see there's about 2,400 QSOs in that particular file. The progress box here shows how many QSOs of what type were in that file. And you can see they're largely phone, uh, PSK, and FT8. Now I'm ready to do the mapping, and I have some choices to make. These are all the different modes, and I can map my QSOs one mode at a time, or I can select all modes. And if I do that, all the modes will be mapped. They're color-coded, matching the menu I have at the top of the page. I can also decide to mask any particular mode type. So if I don't want to see FT8, I click on FT8, and those QSOs go away. And I'm left with phone, ready, and PSK, and digital or other are also in there. The map behaves much like Google Map or other geo map applications you're probably familiar with. And by that I mean we can left click on the map and drag it, and we'll begin to see other parts of the world. So here we see Japan, China, and I'm going to go back, and first I'm going to clear the map. I'm going to go back to all modes, and we see I've had uh, FT8 contacts throughout the Pacific, uh, a lot in Japan because there are a lot of operators there, but also China, South Korea, and Russia, Asiatic Russia, and of course islands in the Pacific, as well as Australia and New Zealand. So you can get a world view of your QSOs by scrolling the map. 
you can also zoom in. So I'm going to zoom in. And I live in Texas, but I travel to California frequently. And I may be interested in seeing who I've had a CUSO with in the San Francisco Bay Area, which is where I spend some time. So I'll expand that map. And we see some CUSOs in the San Francisco Bay Area. Another feature of the CUSO map page is I can select a particular contact, left click on it, and we see the box indicates the call sign of the contact, the bands, the date and time, and their grid square as well as the mode. In addition, you look in the upper right side of the page and you see a red QRZ button appeared. If you left click on that button, you'll be taken to QRZ and you'll get more information about that operator. I haven't logged into QRZ. If I had logged in, then I would get a little more detail. But that's the QRZ page. I'm going to close that page and go back to the map. And that, in essence, is how you use uh, the QSO mapping function of radiocheck.us.